for America. All right, Joe Pop, Pop over America. And I'm leaving Boston, Massachusetts. And I'm heading for Portland, Maine. And uh, easy time here in uh, Boston. I'm only here for about a day. So I got in yesterday a little bit on the early side. I was going to meet my friend Ginny at about 5, so I was early, so I was going to go to the zoo. But as I was pulling up to the zoo, I noticed there was this clunking sound coming from my motor. It sounded like I had a nut loose in the case or something like that. So uh, I was really concerned about that, so I put my bike up on the center stand, give it a run, ran it in gear, and uh, realized that my chain was uh, really, really out of lubrication. It was dry. I, I hit some rain, and it washed off all the lubrication. So it was making this chunking sound. Um, I like to change my chain and sprockets every 15,000 miles, and these are on about 18,000, so they're kind of at their end of life. So uh, I went ahead and looped up the chain and tensioned it up, and it seems to be fine now, but uh, it's only got to last me about 700 more miles because I got a new set uh, waiting for me in Delaware where I'm going to change everything out. So I took care of that and uh, kind of uh, put me at ease. I was really worried that there was something majorly wrong with my motor, uh, but... Uh, Glad that that's taken care of. I went ahead and met up Ginny at her apartment. Uh, she lives in the Roxbury section, which is south of Boston by just a little bit, a suburb. And um, really great old house. She lives on the top floor of this uh, multifamily house. And uh, we sat and chatted a little bit and uh, decided to go out to dinner. Went to a place called Galway House, which from the sound of it sounds like, a, you know, an old fashioned Irish pub. But uh, it's funny, most of the menu is Italian. <laughs> So I went ahead and got myself an Italian sub and, uh, you know, gin and tonic and a light beer to kick it along and um, ate only half of it at the place and brought the other half home. Came home, didn't really stay up late. Her, her husband, Dan, uh, works very early in the morning, so we called it a night pretty early and I went to sleep on the uh, old blow-up bed on their living room, which was just fine by me. And uh, woke up this morning, everybody was gone, so I uh, took a shower mounted up the bike and uh, headed to Boston Common where I was going to just hang out, do some sightseeing and uh, did that, walked through the park, just a gorgeous day, you know, about 80 degrees maybe, sun shining, just blue skies, really beautiful day to be in the park. Um, got hungry, went to a place called Sam DeGrasso's Sandwich Place, supposed to have a good sandwich. I had the pastrami. And I'm sorry, Sam, but uh, far cry from Katz's Deli. I guess everybody is, so that's kind of a problem when you eat anywhere and you're not in uh, one of the greatest delis in New York City. But uh, serviceable sandwich, you know, I ate the whole thing, had some potato salad, had a lemonade, and, uh, and uh, mounted back up. Now I'm heading out, uh, heading to Portland. Gonna be there for two days. It's gonna be good to catch up on some uh, some sleep and some video stuff and some picture stuff a little bit behind so I'm looking forward to getting caught up on all, all my media stuff and uh, I only have about six states left or is it five I'm not sure but uh, thanks for following along everybody be, f be sure to uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel because when I get home I'm gonna do some really nice full-length videos of all of this trip so all right Joe pop pop over America over and out Pop Over America is made possible by support from Alto Music, Arai Helmets, Corbin Motorcycle Seats, D'Addario Strings, Hoffy Carbon Fiber Cases, Michelin Motorcycle Tires, Otherworld Computing, and Cena Motorcycle Bluetooth Devices. Stay tuned for the next episode of Pop Over America.